warriors, I come to you to talk about something that is very urgent. I don't have to go through all of the uh, horror stories happening recently in our schools across the country. We all know about the increase in school shootings. What I do want to talk to you about, though, is steps we can take to protect our children, to talk to our children, communicate with our children. It is a must in 2022. We need to secure our schools. We need to secure our children online with who they're dealing with. So listen up. I want all of you. These are frightening, frightening uh, crimes happening for us as adults. So how do we talk to the kids? Remember, the kids pick up on our emotions. So we have to remain calm. There are certain things we can do, very easy steps. You have to be there for your child, whether the child is two years old, whether your child is 18 years old. You have to talk to them. You have to communicate with them. You have to reassure them that these types of incidents, these types of uh, horrible, frightening crimes, you're sad and upset too. And they have every right to be, you share that with them, but you want to know how they're feeling, what they're feeling. You also want to limit screen time. You want to limit news. Now I know it's, it's hard with older kids, teens, but we have to start taking action and really do all of this. The un younger kids, it's easier, uh, you know, take away the screen time, limit the screen time. Don't let kids sit in front of the TV sets and let this all play out because remember children, children always, um, uh, whatever they see or feel, well, let's say whatever they see, they think that could happen to me. You know, they kind of internalize, they fantasize, and we don't want to promote any kind of fantasies. We want to be clear and concise with our kids, and we don't want to over-explain. We want to give them facts and truths, no matter how painful it might be. Remember, do not over-explain, but better, best if they hear it from you, because you don't want them hearing something from another child, another adult from the television set, or for something they're watching online. I've had many parents recently come to me and ask me what's the best way to handle this. And almost all of them said, well, we just don't talk about it. Uh, we just don't bring it up. We just don't, wrong, wrong, wrong. You must bring it up. I will remind you, warriors, it's 2022. This is our world. What do we need to do? We have gun violence. We need to secure our schools. We need to have armed guards. We need to have doors that only, you know, open out for fire safety and have a main door. This is the world we live in. It's just like online where you're stuck behind 1996 Communications Decency Act, Section 230. Originally, developed to protect children. Well, you can see 26 years later what is going on. The predators are winning. New world. So we have to take action. We have to revise our thinking. We have to take care of the kids. We have to be there more than ever for the kids. There's plenty of good uh, books that deal with school shootings. There are plenty of good articles. Again, I urge you to sign up for the Linz Warriors newsletter. Very simple. Go to linzwarriors.org, scroll down on the right side, E newsletter and sign up. A new one is going out tomorrow about all of these issues. I have tremendous resources, things you can read. How do you deal with talking to your kids after a school shooting? Kids are scared. Parents are scared. Who can blame anybody in the world we're living in today? But the best thing you can do, and it's tough for all of us, remain calm, talk to them, let them revisit the subject matter as many times as they want so they can process this information and remind them that these things are rare, that many good people are looking into these horrible things and trying to figure out what happened, but they're safe with you. A hug and a kiss go a long way. So please, let's start talking to the kids. Let's not allow anything online to come into their world where it might extra scare them because things are scary enough. Let's limit the screen time. Let's talk about it. Let us all become warriors.